Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 61 in this series. How to delete a ribbon pattern. Press the ribbon button located up here. Select the one you want to be deleted. We'll do this one. Press the edit soft key located up here. Scroll down to delete. Press the enter button and press yes on are you sure? And that will confirm the delete. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 62 in this series. How to rename a ribbon pattern. Press the ribbon button located up here. Select the chosen one uh, pattern you want to rename. We'll just go for this one. Press the edit soft key located up here. Press enter on rename. And from here you can use the cursor keys and the dial to go through and change the name. So we'll just do something quickly. delete those ones and then you press enter to execute and as you can see the name has now been changed welcome to how to music tech this is part 63 in this series how to import ribbon patterns from other projects press the ribbon key located up here and then press the edit soft key and you need to go down to import and press the enter key you need to select the mode. You can choose each, or you can choose which patterns from a project you can import, or you can use the dial to change that to all. If you select all, it will uh, take all the um, ribbon patterns from the project and put them into your new one. Or if you do each, you can do it individually. Uh, you can choose the project you want to import them from. So there's plenty to choose from. Uh, once you've chosen your project, press enter, go down to next and press enter. From here, because we've done each, we can choose which one we want to do. So we'll just import number 65 and we'll put it onto number one. So press enter. Are you sure? Yes. And that would have moved number 65 to number one on that project. And when you're finished, if you're doing each, press exit. And there you go, on number one, we'll have the chosen one imported. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 64 in this series. How to set volume and stereo placement for rhythm patterns. Press the rhythm button located up here. Select the pattern you want to adjust. We'll just go for a random one. Um, press the edit soft key located up here. Then on the drum level, you can set it from 1 to 15 to change the volume. And you can also go down to position. Uh, if you change listener, the drums are placed left to right as if you're listening to it. Or you can use the dial to change it to player and the drums are placed right to left as if you are listening as the drummer. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 65 in this series. How to assign loops to tracks. Press the track key located up here. Choose a track you want to assign a loop to. We're gonna choose number seven. Press enter on new take. Go down to the loop. Uh, if you press enter and you have loops on your SD card, it will come up with a list of loops. Unfortunately, there are no loops on this SD card. You can choose the loop you want to use press enter on that one uh, you can also audition loops using the play and stop buttons once you've done that and you've assigned your loop press exit and your track which you've assigned a loop to will turn orange welcome to how to music tech this is part 66 in this series how to set a track to loop press the track button located up here select the track you want to loop we're going to choose number one Go down to loop and press enter. 
and you can use the dial to toggle this between on and off. And we turn it on. Uh, press the exit button. And now you can see the light there has changed to orange, so it will continue in a continuous loop. And it will just continue to do that. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 67 in this series. How to set the loop interval. Press the track button located up here and then select the track you want to adjust the loop. We'll choose track number two. Press enter on loop and then press enter on position. From here you can use the dial to choose where you want to start the, the loop. And then if you press the length soft key, you can choose the length, adjust the length of the loop. You can use the zoom button to zoom in on the waveform. And when you're finished, you just press the exit button. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 68 in this series. How to set playback method for pads of loop or rhythm tracks. Press the track button located up here. Select the track you want to um, change river track number one, go down to pad and then here from here you can use the dial to change what you want the setting to be. You have a choice of repeat so the loop plays repeatedly when you press the pad. You can choose gate so it stops playback when you release the pad or you can choose one shot so that plays the loop once even if the pad is released. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 69 in this series. How to change the beats per minute of a track. So press the track button located up here and then select the track you want to adjust the, the BPM. Go down to BPM and you can use the dial here to change the BPM for that particular track. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 70 in this series. How to change audio tempo without changing the pitch. Press the track button located up here. Select the track you want to change. We're going to go for track number one. Go to edit and press enter. Leave it on stretch and press enter. From here you can select mode for each or you can change it to all. We're going to change, leave it on each. This will change just this track. Then you can change the, the tempo to whatever you want. So we'll just go to 110. And then you need to select the algorithm. Um, for beat, it's best for short notes, or you can have tone, which is best for long notes. When you've decided what you're going to do, you go down to execute, press enter, and then are you sure? Click yes and that will change the tempo for that particular track. Press exit. And then that's lowered the um, tempo to 110 where it was at 120. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 71 in this series. How to trim unnecessary parts of audio files. Press the track button located up here and then choose the track you want to, uh, to trim choose track number one, go down to edit, press enter, on trim, press enter. So from here you can choose where you want to cut this and make the start point. So we'll go to bar, start of bar two. Then you press the end soft key located up here and you can choose where it will end. So we'll just cut it down to the end of bar three. You can use zoom to um, zoom in on the waveform. You can also play and stop um, whilst you're trimming. Once you're finished, you press the execute button and then go up to are you sure on yes and press enter and that will trim the data for that track. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 72 in this series. How to set fade ins and fade outs. Press the track button located up here. Select a track you want to change. We'll keep it number one. Go down to the fade and from here you can select on or off. 
Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 73 in this series. The overview of the track sequencer. The track sequencer can arrange rhythm pattern tracks and loop tracks into a performance order to create a song. This is perfect for trying out different arrangements. You can bounce or record your arrangement to the master track. If you bounce to the master track, you can then free up tracks to record more parts. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 74 in this series. How to create a, t a sequence in real time using the track sequencer. You can play the pads in real time to create your track. Press the track button located up here. Select track sequencer and press enter. Then to start input, press record and play at the same time. Then you can play the pads in real time. When you're finished, press the stop button and that will complete the input. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 75 in this series. How to create a sequence using step input in the track sequencer. Press the track button, select track sequencer, press enter. Then press the record button on its own to start step input. From here you can move the cursor along the track sequencer using the cursor. As you can see it's moving there. So we'll go to number track number three. To uh, record data, you can press the pad, or you can press enter for where the cursor is located. See, there's now eight bars for uh, track number six. And if we go down, you can press uh, the pad for number six for track six, or we can just press the enter button again. And when you're finished, press stop to finish input. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 76 in this series. How to delete multiple inputs in the track sequencer. Press the track button located up here. Select track sequencer. Press enter. Then you want to move the cursor to where you want to delete data. So we're gonna go to the start of bar five. Press the record button and then press the edit soft key. And then you want to go down to delete event and press enter. From here, you can use the dial to select, to select before or after the event. So before will delete all the data before where the cursor is and after will delete all the data after where the cursor is. When you've chosen what you want to delete, Let's go down to execute, press enter, and then you see it's deleted everything after the cursor. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 77 in this series. How to insert or delete beats in the track sequencer. Press the track key located up here, select track sequencer and press enter. Press the record button to start step input. Move the cursor to where you want to insert or delete beats. So we're going to start with bar five. Press the edit soft key located up here. Select either insert or delete beats depending on what you want to do. Uh, use the dial to change how many beats you want to insert. And go down to signature and use the dial to say whether you want to select no to not change the time signature or select add to change the time signature. When you've completed what you want to do, go down to execute and press enter, and then press the stop button to stop input. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 78 in this series. How to play back a track that has been arranged using the track sequencer from the track sequencer screen. Press the track button located up here, select track sequencer and press enter. From here, you can play your arrangement just by pressing the play button to start playback and the stop button to stop playback. When you're finished, press the stop and rewind button to go back to the beginning. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 79 in this series. How to play back a track that has been arranged using a track sequencer from the main project screen. To turn the track sequence on, you need to press the track sequencer soft key located up here. 
Once you've turned that on, from this screen, your arrangement will play as per the track sequencer. So you just have to press the play button to start playback, and then you press the stop button to stop playback, and then the stop and rewind button to return to the beginning of the track. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 80 in this series. How to edit effect patches, selecting effect modules. Press the effects button located up here, Select the effect you want to use, uh, edit using the soft key, so either chorus, reverb, or an insert effect. Select the algorithm and patch you want to adjust. So you will use the dial, will go to an empty patch. Go down to edit and press enter. From here, you can use the left and right um, cursor keys to go through the modules, and you can press the on off uh, soft key to turn the module on or off. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe now for more videos on this unit and others to come, and give this video a like if you found it helpful.